कमलदीप सिंह बजाज का नमस्कार सत्यकाल उत्साह बड़ा स्वागत है मेरे चैनल केडी बजाज फिल्म्स में होटल्स और रिजॉर्ट्स मैं आपको मेरे व्लॉग्स के द्वारा दिखाता रहता हूं तो क्यों ना मैं इस बार आपको एक पैलेस होटल दिखाऊं जो कि एक रियल सेंस में हेरिटेज प्रॉपर्टी है तो मेरे संग आप देखेंगे अंबिका निवास पैलेस और पैलेस होटल तो अंबिका निवास पैलेस स्थित है गुजरात की सुरेंद्र नगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट की अर्स्ट वाइल प्रिंसली स्टेट मूली में अंबिका निवास पैलेस और मूली के सुनहरे इतिहास के बारे में मैं आपको आगे बताऊंगा अंबिका निवास पैलेस जब बनाया गया था तब ये पैलेस ग्राउंड में एंट्री करने का मेन गेट था तो बढ़ते हैं पैलेस की ओर अंबिका निवास पैलेस के आगे दोनों तरफ बहुत बड़ा लोन एरिया है जहां पर वेडिंग्स पार्टीज फिल्म शूट्स वगैरह के लिए उनको इस्तेमाल किया जाता है करंटली इस गेट से पैलेस ग्राउंड में आया जाता है तो चलते हैं अंबिका निवास पैलेस के अंदर तो एक पैलेशियल एंट्री होती है उस तरह का माहौल यहां पे ये यहां का रिसेप्शन कम चेक इन काउंटर है सब एंटीक्स आप देख सकेंगे यहां पे ये एक एंटीक संदूक है ये प्राइवेट एरिया है और ये जो चीज है इसमें पुराने जमाने में लोग अपने कोट्स छाते सब इसमें रखा करते थे आगे बढ़ते हैं और ये है वेटिंग लाउंज रिसेप्शन के आगे जहां पे रितु वेट कर रही है एक और संदूक बहुत ही सुंदर चलते हैं मेन लाउंज यहां जिसे पुराने जमाने में बैठक बोला करते थे तो ये बैठक और अभी इसे लाउंज कहते हैं यहां पे मूली स्टेट का एम्बलम मूली में मांडव राय जी का टेंपल बहुत ही फेमस है हिज हाइनेस ठाकुर साहेब श्री हरिश्चंद्र सिंह जी जो कि ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ठाकुर साहेब ऑफ मूली थे उन्होंने इस मूली के अंबिका निवास पैलेस को बनवाया था तो आप देख सकते हैं सब पुराने एंटीक सोफास बहुत ही सुंदर एनवायरनमेंट और एक पैलेशियल लुक ये यंग डेज में ठाकुर जितेंद्र सिंह जी तो मेरे साथ हैं मूली स्टेट के करण ठाकुर साहेब जी जितेंद्र सिंह जी जो कि मूली स्टेट की हिस्ट्री आप लोगों के साथ शेयर करना चाहते हैं तो नमस्कार ठाकुर साहब जी नमस्कार तो आपकी मूली स्टेट के बारे में हमें कुछ बताइए जरूर जरूर 
मेरा नाम जितेंद्र सिंह जी परमार है आई एम द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ रूलिंग जनरेशन सिंस द हाउस ऑफ मोडी वॉज फाउंड इन द ईयर इलेवन फिफ्टी एट वाओ एंड वी आर डिसेंडेंट ऑफ राजा विक्रमादित्य एंड राजा अभोज एंड द परमार फैमिली वी माइग्रेटेड फ्रॉम उज्जैन टू थरपारकर वी एक्चुअली केम फ्रॉम थरपारकर विच इज प्रेजेंटली इन पाकिस्तान ओके बट We have been here since uh, what 800, nearly 900 years. Okay. And my grandfather Thakur Sahib Harish Chandra Singh ji yeah. was the one who signed the document with Sardar Patel for the merger of the state of Mali with the Indian Union. Very nice. Thank you so yeah. much, Thakur Sahib ji. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Bathak room or lounge, which we call it, we move forward. So it comes to the open corridor. जहाँ पे गेस्ट के लिए टेबल्स और चेयर्स लगाई गई हैं यहाँ पे आप रिफ्रेशमेंट्स ले सकते हैं और मज़े ले सकते हैं ओपन एनवायरनमेंट का यहाँ पे ये प्राइवेट एरिया है और ये है यहाँ की लाइनेज मूड़ी राज्य परिवार नो इतिहास मतलब अभी तक की 24 पीढ़ियों का पूरा ब्यौरा यहां पे दिया गया है और यहां पे है काफी बड़ा झूला बहुत ही ब्यूटीफुल और यहाँ पे एक ऐतिहासिक वॉल क्रिएट करी गई है जहाँ पे सब पुराने फोटोग्राफ्स जिसका कोई ना कोई इतिहास है तो यहाँ पे है पहले शिलसूट जाने का रास्ता यहाँ से स्टेयर्स ऊपर जाती हैं फर्स्ट फ्लोर पे और महाराजा जाम साहेब को यहाँ पे रिसीव किया जा रहा है वो एक फोटोग्राफ है यहाँ पे यहाँ का स्वामी नारायण टेम्पल भी बहुत ही फेमस है ये है ओपन कोट पहले के जमाने में हर एक रूम्स के आगे कोट हुआ करते थे क्योंकि तभी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नहीं थी रूमों में पंखे लाइट्स कुछ नहीं थी इसलिए रूम्स को काफी वेंटिलेटेड रखने के लिए यहाँ पे कोट है ये प्राइवेट एरिया है और इस कोट में पार्टीज वेडिंग्स और फंक्शंस भी होस्ट किए जाते हैं मैं आपको दिखाने वाला हूं अंबिका निवास पैलेस का पैलेस रूम तो पैलेस रूम के आगे है बहुत बड़ा कोट जैसे आप देख सकते हैं तो चलते हैं रूम के अंदर तो रूम में आते काफी बड़ा बेड एक एंटीक बेड है सुंदर तरह से सजाया गया और एक पैलेशियल लुक आता है इस रूम का हेरिटेज लुक आता है यहां पे चाय कॉफी पानी टीवी सामान रखने की जगह और ये एक एंटी कबड है जो पुराने मैकेनिज्म से खुलती है और बंद होती है यहां पे है राइटिंग डेस्क और चेयर छोटा सा फ्रिज है 
और यहां से है गैलरी जहां से कोर्ट दूसरा आप देख सकते हैं वॉशरूम की बात करें तो वॉशरूम काफी बड़ा है एकदम क्लीन काफी टॉयलेटरीज भी रखी गई हैं एकदम क्लीन टॉवेल्स शावर पैनल के साथ और यह है दूसरा दरवाजा जहां से जाया जा सकता है कोर्ट के अंदर यहाँ पे और रूम्स हैं टोटल पैलेस रूम इस होटल के अंदर पैलेस होटल के अंदर दस हैं मेरे चैनल के डी बजाज फिल्म को सब्सक्राइब करने के साथ साथ मेरे व्लॉग्स को लाइक करें दूसरों के साथ शेयर करें कमेंट भी करें तो मैं लेके चलता हूं आपको अंबिका निवास पैलेस के खाना खजाना रेस्टोरेंट में जहां पे बुफे और आला काटे दोनों मील्स अवेलेबल रहती हैं ये हैं मिस्टर सुदर्शन कटोच यहां के शेफ हैं और अगर आपको रॉयल फीलिंग में लंच डिनर या ब्रेकफास्ट लेना है तो आपको जरूर यहां पे आना चाहिए ये टेन की कैपेसिटी और सिटिंग वाला एक रॉयल टेबल है काफी सुंदर डेकोर हेरिटेज फील को कायम रखते हुए और यहां पे है एट की सीटिंग कैपेसिटी वाला एक दूसरा टेबल और यहां पे फोटोग्राफ्स में आप देख सकते हैं रॉयल्स मील लेते हुए तो आपने अब तक मेरा चैनल केडी बजाज फिल्म्स जरूर सब्सक्राइब कर दिया होगा और अब मैं आपको दिखाने वाला हूं अंबिका निवास पैलेस का पैलेस सूट तो सेकंड कोर्ट से आया जा सकता है पैलेस सूट की ओर तो चलते हैं पैलेस सूट के अंदर तो ये है इनका राइटिंग डेस्क कम टी कॉफी मेकर का सामान यहीं पे पड़ा है वाटर बॉटल्स हैं यहां पे मिनी फ्रिज है रिलैक्स करने के लिए सोफा और काफी बड़ा और काफी सुंदर बेड है लिनन आप देख सकते हैं एकदम साफ और अलग से टीवी देखने के लिए इन्होंने काउच टाइप के सोफा पुराने जमाने के और ये काफी बड़े पाटला बोलते हैं इसे गुजराती में और हिंदी में इसको बोला जाता है चौकी और मैं चलता हूं बाथरूम में तो इस बाथरूम के अंदर कबट है और बाथरूम किसी रूम से कम नहीं इतना बड़ा बाथरूम है मेरे साथ हैं मूली स्टेट के युवराज रंजीत सिंह जी तो रंजीत सिंह जी मेरे चैनल में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है तो आ, मेरे आपसे कुछ तीन चार सवाल हैं ये तो पहला सवाल ही मैं हिस्ट्री से करना चाहता हूं आपकी फैमिली हिस्ट्री के बारे में हमारे साथ कुछ शेयर कीजिए जरूर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग डाउन टू मूली एंड Uh, my pleasure covering our palace here today. my pleasure and uh, also speaking to our family uh, i believe you spoke earlier to my father yes and uh, let me use this opportunity to uh, share about our family history yeah so we are uh, the only parmar royal family here in saurashtra okay. uh, and uh, we 
uh, trace our ancestry back to Vikramaditya and, and Raja Bhoj. And okay. we came to Muli in uh, 1215 Vikram Samvat, which is around 1150s in okay. AD. Um, we came from Malwa region in Western MP and then moved to Tharparkar, which is in present Sindh province, and then came here. Okay, Sindh province to, in Pakistan. Sindh, Sindh province in Pakistan, which okay. is present day Pakistan. But 850 years back, this was <laughs> there was <laughs> there was no India and there was no Pakistan. Okay. But uh, we came here uh, in the 1150s, and mm -hmm. uh, we've been here uh, since. We've had 24 generations in the house. Okay. Uh, my father is the 24th generation at present. And uh, during the years, uh, you know, we've had uh, a very wide range uh, in terms of the area that was under Muli state okay. and which has been varying. Uh, there was a time when we had four uh, what we call Chovises, which used to be administrative blocks okay. of 24 villages. Mm -hmm. So there used to be the Muli Chovisi, there was the Than Chovisi, there was a um, Chotila, which is present day Chotila, Chovisi, and there was a Chobari uh, Chovisi. So there were different administrative blocks which used to be under Muli state and then over the generations uh, some areas were uh, were given to younger brothers some some areas okay. were lost but at the time of independence it was restricted to the muli obviously which was the present muli taluka area um, so we've had a uh, we've had a history which is 850 years old we've had some wars we've had a lot of historical monuments built we've had new villages and established families settled here uh, we've had uh, you know, some beautiful temples uh, around here and any old place has its own share of, uh, yes, yes. of, of unique history. So, our history is, is pretty old. Uh, okay. We are amongst the oldest uh, uh, erstwhile royal families in Savrashtra. Mm. And uh, with an old history, you always have a lot of uh, places True. of interest that, that would True. be of, of interest to people. So that's as far as the family history goes. Uh, okay, my next question is, uh, I have shot the entire palace. I know what the facilities are available. Right. Kindly share it with my uh, uh, subscribers. Sure. So, uh, the palace was built in the 1930s, built, okay. built by my great grandfather. Uh, in fact, you would have seen some photographs here yeah, in yeah. the palace, uh, which are uh, displayed, which date back to 1918, okay. uh, when my great grandfather was coronated. And at that time, they documented uh, Muli okay. town, the way it was in those days. So, you actually get a very good idea of what Muli was and what, what, what uh, sites existed and what buildings existed and what the way of life was in those days. Uh, we also had uh, the then Jam Saab, okay. uh, Jam Ranjit Singhji, also come uh, and be part of the uh, coronation and, and, and be with my great grandfather at the time. Um, some of these photographs are, are very historic. In, I am going in, to in, take in, that photograph because I am from Jamnagar, so I am very avid in taking those yeah, photographs. Yeah, you must. Yeah. Um, and uh, during my great grandfather's tenure, uh, in the 1930s, he started building the palace. And I think it was completed in 35, 36. Um, and before the palace was built, the residence of the Thakur Sahib of uh, Muli was in the older Bargat, which is yet existing, uh, which is also where our Kuldevi's uh, Stapna okay. is. And uh, after the palace was built, then we moved back into the palace. Um, this palace has had four generations, three generations of family members live. My great-grandfather, my grandfather and now my father. Um, in 2001, in the Kach earthquake, this was very badly damaged, okay. um, almost uh, to the extent that it was not, uh, uh, it was not, it was not livable, uh, and uh, uh, we had to renovate and restore it uh, in a way that it could be uh, good for living. Um, so we started restoring this about 10, 12 years back, and we've been doing it in phases. And now the palace, uh, we had our first guests about uh, nine, ten years back, uh, and the last ten years it's been open to guests. Okay. Presently, we have twelve rooms for the guests. Uh, we have ten palace rooms. We have two suites, uh, royal suites, um, and we have uh, all the other facilities that are uh, needed for people who visit uh, a palace hotel. Uh, we've tried to. Uh, 
ensure that the experience of the guest is not very hotelish uh, and it is more uh, on the lines of living in a palace and okay. being uh, guests of the family rather than uh, the hotel guests. So we try to personalize it as much as we can. Um, and people appreciate that and that, okay. is, that is well reflected in the feedback that we get from a lot of our guests. Um, so we have, uh, we have uh, a, a restaurant in the dining room, we are presently seated yeah. in, the, in, the, in the dining room. Um, we have veg and non-veg cuisine. We have uh, Indian, continental, Chinese uh, and local Kathiawari cuisine uh, as part of our menus. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cultural events uh, okay. happening here, we, uh, which happen at, at part of the palace. Um, the palace itself is spread over 40 acres okay. uh, in, in area. Uh, we do have some agriculture activity also within the palace premises. Uh, interestingly, we have over 60 to 70 species of birds documented within the palace premise itself. Okay. So it's, it's a pretty interesting place for people to walk around the palace and, and, and experience it. Um, <coughs> but we have a varied uh, set of people who visit, uh, okay. visit the palace and uh, enjoy the facilities that are there. Yeah. My the next palace. question was yeah. that only that uh, what type of guests that you have it in the uh, palace regularly? Okay. So we've, uh, we've had uh, guests who we classify into uh, broadly four categories okay. and these are the uh, sets of people who come visiting the palace and enjoy the facilities here for different reasons. Okay. Uh, the first is the leisure traveller and we have, uh, we have most of our 50% of our leisure travellers who come and visit uh, the palace uh, are foreigners, 50% uh, are Indian nationals. Um, most of the people who come here, especially the foreigners, they come here for reasons of heritage, culture, okay. uh, craft, textiles, okay. bird watching, uh, some even for archaeology uh, okay. interests uh, and obviously uh, to enjoy living in a palace. Uh, a lot of the Indian clientele that come in, uh, they mainly come in for a break. Uh, okay. They are either taking a, taking a holiday or it's a family get together or it's a group of friends who come down. Oh, this is a very ideal place for people to come and take a break and, and, and uh, um, uh, also happens to fall on some of the key tourist routes okay. and I think that's interesting to know because um, majority of the domestic tourist flow in Gujarat flows towards Kutch, Dwarka, yeah. Gir and uh, Somnath and we happen to fall on midway. Uh, midway on every one of these routes. So people prefer to as part of their holiday also include a palace experience during okay. their stay before they head back to Ahmedabad to, to fly out or, or, or take a train or, or drive back. Uh, so that's the first segment of people who come for reasons of leisure. Okay. Uh, the second uh, segment of people who we get are mainly corporates. So we have people who visit us uh, who have uh, business reasons to visit Surindagar district and we are the most preferred place to stay within the district and nearby areas. Uh, we also have some corporate training programs uh, which are interesting because uh, a lot of the um, uh, companies use the palace as a, as, a, as a base for some of the training programs that they do for their employees and, and, and some of the educational institutions use this for student training programs also. So okay. that's the corporate area and the segment. The third uh, and probably our la largest segment of business is the film shoot segment three to four projects that, that come in and, and, and use the palace as a, as a base for location for shooting. So we have had Bollywood films, we've had uh, Hindi films, we've had regional films, we've had some web series which, which are now being shot, we've had some TV serials that have been shot, we've okay. had some songs that we shot, we've had uh, catalog shoots that have been done, we've done some ad shoots here. And now the growing need for uh, pre-wedding shoots, which has yeah. also become pretty uh, much in demand for people yeah. using the palace. Um, and, and a lot of people prefer the, the privacy that they get and the quality of uh, the location that, that no we have to offer nothing. and there is no disturbance. So you also get to stay here, you get to eat here, you get to shoot here. Uh, you get all the facilities and all the location benefits that are there and, and it's very comfortable and the quality of the shoot that they have had and the experience has been good 
and that's why the reference from one to the other um, and that's the third segment of uh, clients and guests that we get and the fourth is the wedding segment so we have destination weddings that have happened here uh, we've had uh, some local weddings that happen in the palace gardens outside okay uh, so weddings is again a very growing uh, area. Se segment and as there is more more weddings that happen there are more references uh, for people to come and uh, use this place so i think there's a wide range of people who look at the palace uh, as a place to visit and stay and use the facilities that are there so okay. uh, as as time goes by there is more awareness and i think uh, we also use the opportunity to have you here uh, <laughs> and spread the word about the about the fact that there is a place like Muli and there Thank is a place so like Ambika Niwas Palace yeah. and I am sure a lot more people will be aware about it. And my last question, what are the attractions near your palace, Ambika Niwas Palace? One thing I know, yeah. one Swami Narayan temple is very yeah. famous, yeah. Mandavaraiji temple is very famous, Tangalia art is very yes. famous, yeah. but I just know the names. Right. You tell me a little bit in detail about yeah. all of them. Sure. So, uh, I think uh, when people come here, uh, there are multiple experiences and attractions that, that Muli has to offer. Uh, what we try and do is that we try to tailor make their experiences during their stay yeah. uh, and, and, uh, and direct it towards their personal uh, area of interest. So, a lot of the people are interested in, in, um, in craft and textiles and our area is very, very rich in craft, okay. um, especially craft related to textiles. Uh, we've had, we have over three to four hundred families in Surinagar district doing patola weaving. Great. Uh, so we have a few who, a few of our guests who travel and see artisans working at home. And these are national award winning artisans, so the quality of work that they do is, is exquisite. Um, Again, patola is a is a more popular uh, weave and a, and a very popular art form, a craft. So uh, a lot of people are aware about it. Um, a lot of uh, our travelers who come from abroad um, are uh, textile and craft interested tour uh, uh, travelers. Uh, we get over 10 to 12 groups every year. Uh, and these are mainly all women groups okay. who, who come here mainly for reasons of craft and textiles. Uh, Tangalia again is a very very rare art form um, with very very few weavers. Uh, maybe the numbers are uh, only 15 or 15 homes or 20 homes now which are, which are doing it. Okay. Tang actually is a knot. So while they weave the, the fabric, they tie these white knots and then okay. the, the knots emerge as the design. Something uh, sort of bandhi? Uh, it's a sort of a similar thing but a very different uh, unique okay. thing. So this is uh, unique to the Dangasya community which is okay. associated with the Tangalia weave. Apart from that we have, ours is a very uh, large ceramic area. Okay. Uh, so yeah. there's a lot of ceramic art uh, that, is, that is prevalent here. There's beadwork that is uh, that is popular here. Uh, there's a lot of exquisite woodwork uh, which is done uh, again in, in Surinagar. So there's a wide range of uh, crafts that are there in, in, in Surinagar. And depending on who has what interest, I think we uh, we try to give the guest an experience of actually interacting with the with the artisan himself and 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 and, and uh, gain that experience. So that's as far as the crafts go. Apart from that. Uh, Religious tourism is large. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, uh, old temples. Uh, our family deity, the, uh, the sun god, uh, the Mandaraji temple is, is known all over. We have visitors from all over who come here to, uh, to, uh, to visit the temple. Uh, we have the second oldest Swaminarayan temple okay. uh, amongst all temples of the Swaminarayan sect. In fact, we've just a few months back celebrated 200 years of the Swaminarayan temple in Muli, wow. uh, which is the second oldest okay. temple. Uh, one of the oldest festivals uh, in Saurashtra is the Tarnetar festival. I have been there. Yeah, so Tarnetar uh, festival Muli. again is uh, used to be part of our old uh, Muli area. Uh, Tarnetar uh, festival has significance for our family. Okay. Uh, even till date, uh, the Daja goes from our family when the festival starts. Okay. Um, and a lot of people from all over the world come for the Tarnetar festival which happens sometime in August, September. 
um, but also people come to visit the Trinateshwar temple throughout the year. So that's a very, a very significant uh, site uh, which is there. And there are temples all around. We have old step wells around. We have some of the finest uh, boarding experiences here. Um, we've got all, all the three landscapes uh, which are of interest as far as birds go, which is wetlands, uh, shrublands and grasslands. Uh, around here. So we've got a river just behind the uh, village, okay. um, which is the Bogawa River. We've got a dam a, a kilometer and a half upstream. Uh, we've got some lakes uh, around here uh, in, in, in and around Muli. These are very, very good sites for birding. So during the winter, there's a very good quality of bird life which is there prevalent here. And a lot of the travelers, especially people who are birding interests, uh, interested people come and enjoy that. Uh, Surinagar has its share of farsan and snacks and foods and street food which is again very popular. Um, uh, we also offer traditional kathiawari food here so which is again what people like to enjoy and, and, and taste during their holidays. So cuisine again has become a very important part. Shopping is important to people when they, when they uh, are holidaying they want to carry back souvenirs uh, and the rich craft here offers you that option option of trying to pick up something which is of local uh, nature or made by local artisans. There's a very, very beautiful wooden haveli here in Muli, uh, which almost all uh, people visit uh, when they are here. Um, so there's, there's, there's a lot of interest for people, depending on what their interests are, uh, we can tailor make their programs. Uh, well, everybody can go happy. Everybody can go happy. Uh, Having the family stay in the same premises is a unique experience. Yeah. So to interact with the family during your stay is is unique. So and which is appreciated, I think, by yeah. by travelers who are coming. I am appreciating yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's a bit of a gist of what people uh, who are the kind of people who visit here and what they get. What okay, thank you so much, uh, Yuvraj ji. Yeah. And uh, my viewers would have been enriched by our knowledge that you have shared. Thank you. Thank you much. so much, and you have been a great host. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and wish you all the very best. And we look forward to having you all back again in Thank you. in, in Muli. We'll be back. We'll be back. Thank for, you so look much. Forward, Thank you. Thank you very much. आपका प्यार मेरे चैनल केडी बजाज फिल्म्स पे बरकरार रखें जय हिंद.